I took the shuttle here and on their way to the shuttle stop, this couple asked me if I knew the way to Vernal Falls Trailhead. And I told them I was actually just going to get a map and I was thinking about it afterward and just wanted to reiterate, you should never ever go on a hike without a map. Even if no one else has maps, you should always have one just in case. It's better to get in the right habit and always take care of yourself than uh, be caught out in the wilderness with no map at all. So that's where I'm headed to get a map now and I'm gonna spend the next four days hiking my ass off. Yosemite Falls, it's one of the largest and tallest waterfalls in the world. It is pretty amazing, but not from down here, so let's head up. So Yosemite Falls, right there, is actually one of the largest and tallest waterfalls in the world. And you can't really see it from down here, so let's head on up and check it out. Guess I won't be going to Yosemite Falls, it looks like the east access to the lower falls viewing area is closed due to fragile ice and damaged footbridge. Fragile ice will not support your weight and water often flows beneath it. So basically, um, if I want to get up, I have to go clear to the other side. Um, might have to be another day, but I want to get up there and check it out. It's a little disappointing. There's even a cemetery here in Yosemite Valley, uh, just near um, the visitor center. Um, it's interesting, there's uh, graves here from people that died a hundred years before I was even born. Um, so it's interesting, this is the grave of uh, George Anderson, who lived 1839 to 1884, and he was the very first person to summit Half Dome on October 12, 1875, and he is buried right here. So the very first guy to summit Half Dome, and. Um, Wish I could get up there now, but it's not open and I'll follow in his footsteps sooner or later.